ferret walk ferret intro hello I'm ferret I'm a friend of Mark Stone but we call him Bofo he has a lot of nicknames Mark Fitzgerald Bofo Coyote Kaboom Whatnot Conundrum and Specimen he was called Specimen for months every time we said the word specimen he would say hello my name is ferret and I'm a canine I'm a beagle I enjoy jello snorfling wacky Olympics like the time I was playing Red Rover with Bopo and we were sending trees and shrubs to the other side I want a keychain that had a galaxy in it very nice Bopo 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 a voice could be heard in the distance like a slam on a door that's Sabrina Buffo's wife. She gets frustrated and yells his name then jumps in a box and slams the lid, says Ferret. Here's Buffo now. Oops, he says. What's gotten into Sabrina, asks Ferret. I was talking to myself on one of those new time bidding phones when my younger self, who didn't know what Sabrina was, I tried to introduce them then she got upset again and jumped in a Buffo box. Ferret turns to you, the reader, and says, Anything can happen. Tune in tomorrow. Tomorrow he gets taller. Ferret walk, fireflies, there I was at a park with Ferret, we were talking about fireflies and how to get them in a jar, it was late in the afternoon and he pulls a bag from thin air then pulled out an empty jar, we sat there for a while and nothing happened, well Ferret I said, well Buffo he said, well, Ferret, I said. Well, Bofo, he said. We looked up and there was a paper airplane. Shannon Destiny was hovering in the air reading a book about paper airplanes. She landed near the jar and asked if we had any fireflies yet. We shook our heads. She told us there are easier ways to see them at night. They glow in the dark. So she wrote the word firefly on her paper airplane and she put it in the jar. Thanks, I told her. Bofo, 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 she said. I reached for my pocket phone, but my phone was quiet. I thought my phone was ringing. Well, close enough, I said. Next, he gets a mooshoo shuffle, said Ferret. Do you just make this stuff up, I asked Ferret. Yes, he nodded. Just wondering. A lot can happen, I said. Map, said Chen and Destiny. Ferret walk. Hangover. Ferret and I were looking at the truck we used to get MEP to Titan. One small toy car pulled up and the horn was honking. Destiny Shannon put her head out the window and shouted, Bubble, bubble, bubble. She yelled, Don't you ever check your messages? Nope, said Ferret. He never does. Sabrina's been trying to reach you all morning, she told me. I pulled out my cell phone and looked at it. It was off. I never turned it back on after I left the library. Oops. Thank you, I said. Welcome, she replied. I turned on the phone and there were 12 messages in my voicemail. I started listening to the messages. Bofo, turn on your phone, the message said. She said it 12 times. 
So I called her to tell her my phone was on and she had been trying to reach me all day. Then we hung up. A few seconds later, the phone rings. The ringtone was a recording of Sabrina yelling, Bofo, Bofo, Bofo. So I answered the phone. Yes, Sabrina, it still says Bofo, 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 I told her. She said that's all she really wanted to know. Sometimes I'm tempted to draw a line, tie it to my phone, hang it out the window, bada beep. Next, Buffo gets fireflies in a jar, said Ferret. Things you talked me into, Ferret, I commented. A lot can happen, said Destiny Shannon. Ferret Walk Hard Bargain What's up? Ferret was looking at a map. I asked him about it. He asked me what direction was north. I told him they always put north on the top of the map. Then I told Ferret that I wanted to go car shopping. We piled in the van and headed down the road. I could trade this in for another van. So we got to the dealer and piled out of the van. Ferret and I looked around and were met by Cleveland. Cleveland was a friend of Larry from the Titan episode. He asked if he could help and I said I was looking for a van. He showed us some vans but none of them were right. Something wrong here. There they are again, said Ferret. Who, I asked. The Megans from the Snootful episode, Ferret told me. They seemed taller, and Destiny Shannon walked over and pointed to the one that looked just like the one we came in. How about this one? Perfect. Let's take this one. So we piled in the van and went to the zoo. Buffo, 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 said Cleveland. Next time he gets to make a wish, says Ferret. I drive a hard bargain, said Bofo. Hello, I'm Bofo, I said. Ferret and I were sitting in the coffee shop with the Megans. There was some music and Destiny Shannon was rocking back and forth to the music. Then Shannon Destiny started dancing. Rocking back and forth, I felt like tapping my foot. I asked what they called the dance they were doing and they told me they were doing the bebop. Megan Shannon was looking at a poster on the wall, and Ferret asked if she ever felt like traveling to places that were in the posters. She said that one day she would like to travel. I looked at my watch and noticed what time it was. My phone rang. Bofo, bofo, bofo! That was my ringtone. It was Sabrina. She said there was a parade that started a couple of hours ago and we missed it. I looked at my watch and the thing was stopped. I turned to Ferret. We missed the Mooshu Shuffle. Didn't miss the Bebop though, Ferret told me. The Bebop was nice, I replied. Next, Bofo gets maybe, said Ferret. If luck holds out, I said. Map, 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 said the Megans.
Ferret Walk. Retired. Bofo and Ferret were in the library and were very quiet. There were the Megans. Shannon Destiny, Destiny Shannon, Megan Shannon, Milo and Larry were there. They were all looking at some books on the table. Ferret whispered to Bofo, I thought you were going to be retiring. Bofo whispered back, Got all new rubber for my semi. Bofo, Bofo, Bofo. His cell phone had the large voice of Ophelia for a ringtone. He forgot to turn it off. It echoed in the quiet library. Oops, he said. Shush, they all said at once. Next, he gets a hangover, said Ferret. A lot can happen, said Bofo. Ferret walk. Schmeckle. I looked over at Ferret. He was holding up something on his computer. He was looking for the word Schmeckle. I asked him if he had any luck and he said no. So we quit looking. Ferret decided to go for a walk a walk. And I thought I'd go with him. We went down to the coffee shop where the jazz musicians played while we were sitting there with the Megan sipping coffee. Shannon Destiny was looking through a code breaker magazine. Megan Shannon was doing some cross stitch. Destiny Shannon was over by the jukebox. She put a quarter in the jukebox and a song played. Mary Bat was a good little bat. 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 Then Mary Bat came out of the kitchen. She was holding a spatula. She turned to Ferret and said hello. He introduced me to her. Then she started to complain. This schmeckle is horrible. It's too flat, she said. What was that? I asked. This schmeckle is too flat, she whispered. I looked over at Ferret. How did he do that? Was she in on it? No. We were talking, and he told me Mary Bat was a pretender. Hmm. Next, Bofo misses a bus, says Ferret. A lot can happen. Ferret Walk. Megan Shannon and Shannon Megan. Bofo, he said. Bofo, they call me Bofo. Ferret and Bofo met Destiny Shannon, Shannon Destiny, at a coffee shop. There were live musicians playing jazz. They would snap their fingers instead of clapping at the end of a song. Then Megan Shannon walked in. There was chit-chat and witty banter. A pleasant time was had by all. Ferret sipped his coffee. Bofo and Ferret were wondering about Megan Shannon. Could there be a Shannon Megan? Megan Shannon said there was a Shannon Megan and she would go get her. She left and a few moments later another 12-inch doll type person walked in and said she was Shannon Megan. While well, she heard people were looking for her, well, we said it was nice to meet her. And Megan Shannon came back in and told everybody she was just pretending there was a Shannon Megan. Oh, said Bofo, that makes sense. Then he reached in his pocket and pulled out a dollar bill for the tip jar.
I wished I had a friend like Shannon Megan. You do, said May and Shannon. Bubble, 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 said Bubble. Next, he gets a hot toddy, whatever that means, said Ferret. Bobo looked over to Shannon Destiny, and she was holding a large card that said, A lot can happen. Can you hold the card a little higher? Thanks. A lot can happen. Ferret walk, snootful, Bofo and Ferret went to the zoo to try to find a snootful. They went to the tiger cages and saw the really big cats. Ferret wondered if the cats had seen a snootful. Bofo started asking around, where did they keep the snootful? Larry and Milo were there from Titan. Have you seen the snootful? Buffo asked Larry. What's a snootful? asked Larry. I was hoping you knew, Buffo told him. Maybe the aardvark or the elephant had one. I was wondering if I could find one and bring it home. Just then, Ferret pointed to a refreshment stand. I think we are being watched, Ferret said. He pointed to a refreshment stand and there were three small figures on a refreshment table. I am going to go for a little ferret walk and I want you to let me know if those toys move. They looked like three action figures. Sounds silly, but okay. Ferret took a few steps and three small heads turned. Bofo took off his hat and scratched his head. Then he went up to them and introduced himself. Hi, I'm Bofo, he said. Bofo? Bofo? Bofo! That's Megan Shannon, Destiny Shannon, and Shannon Destiny, said Milo. I thought you already met. Map, map, map. Waka waka, said Ferret. A lot can happen, said Bofo. Next. He drives a hard bargain. Ferret walk. Space trucking. There I was. Hi, I'm Bofo. I'm a friend of Ferret. He's a dog. A lot of people have never seen a white Pomeranian before. He's white because he's part Eskimo. He just tells people he's a beagle. Well, I'm looking overhead and I can see three space truckers. I might be able to call them if I had a radio. I took out some paper and a felt tip pen, then I drew a radio. Breaker, breaker, this is Bofo, I told them. Bofo, 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 where have you been? There's a crisis on Titan and we need you. We got your truck all set up, so get and go. Titan needs MEP like yesterday. I'm on it, I said. Then I reached in my pocket and I pulled out a pair of sunglasses. I put them on, then I could see the big truck. Triangle Trucking was the logo. So then I called Ferret. I could see him. I was about to tell him about the MEP crisis on Titan, and he was standing in front of me with his ditty bag already packed. He was holding a cell phone. Busy signal? Hang up the phone, Bofo, Ferret shouted. Get off the phone, Ferret. Titan needs map. I told him. I was right in front of him, and we were both on the phone. 
I hit the reed dial and so did he. This was getting us nowhere. I took off my sunglasses and I handed them to Ferret, but he waved my hand away and shushed me. I put the sunglasses in his hand, then he put them on. Ferret opened the truck door and climbed in. I followed. He wrestled some papers on the dash, and I checked the map. He was still trying the phone with one hand, and he handed me a coloring book with the other hand. I took the felt marker and drew a hasty line in it, then passed it back. Ferret put the coloring book away, then I got back on my phone. I turned to Ferret. Phone's for you, I told him. I handed him the phone. Who is it? He said he was Ferret. Ferret hung up both phones. A high priority Lord of Met load of MEP for Titan. One question. What is MEP? Don't know, but we got a load of it, he told me. Well, I have directions. We hang a left at Saturn. So we got all buckled in. I pushed the label button that was labeled go. Everything was blurry for a moment, then we could see Saturn below us. I have a problem. I checked the map, and Titan is around here somewhere. It's not like the map says. I need to stop and ask for directions. Ferret nodded and pulled out the drawing of the radio. I set her down on Saturn. Breaker, breaker. This is Bofo. We reach Saturn and we have a load of MEP for Titan, but we can't find it. Titan is on the other side of Saturn and it's in orbit. Take a left, go around the planet. It was the voice of a lady driver, Aaliyah. Her friends, Missy and driver Jane, were already there and delivered their map. Well, here we go. There they were. We found them and put it down on Titan. We met Milo and Larry. What is MEP? asked Ferret. Nothing, really, said Aaliyah. What's the rush? asked Ferret. We were running out of nothing, said Milo. Running out of nothing, I asked? It happens, Larry says. Well, all this over nothing, I turned to Ferret. Ferret turned to Jane and Missy and said, Next time he gets a snootful. A lot can happen. coffee shop sipping some coffee. Megan Shannon was doing a hook rug and Destiny Shannon was sitting by the jukebox. Shannon Destiny was doing some crossword puzzles and Mary Bat was serving Larry Milo some coffee. Ferret was starting to get hungry and he asked if anybody else was. Larry and Milo were getting hungry too so they started making plans to go and eat. Mary Bat told us there was a bus that takes us to the truck stop, so they all agreed to go eat. My phone rang and it was Sabrina, the wife. She told me to meet her at the truck stop and she had a lot to say. While I was talking to her, the gang met the bus outside and they mentioned for them to go without me. What was I trying to signal? I was trying to signal them for them to wait for me. But they all got on the bus and the bus left. Guess I'll just go for a ferret walk. So I started walking to the truck stop and I met the bus that had just left. The truck stop was three doors down and there was Sabrina. The gang got off the bus and there was Ferret. He told me that he didn't know I could ferret walk. A lot can happen, I said. Buffo, 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 said Sabrina. Next, Buffalo explains the pyramid, said Ferret. 
What did you get me into, I asked. You want your mummy? asked Mary Pat. Ferret walk. Triangle man. There I was on a park bench when Ferret came to me looking at his watch. We're going to be late, Ferret told me. Then he pulled up, and there was Larry, Milo, Mary Bat, and the Megans. Where are we going, I asked. To the pyramids, he told me. Why don't we make our own, asked Ferret. They got out of the bus and got on all fours, and I asked Larry and Milo to join me. Then Megan Shannon and Shannon Destiny climbed on top of them. Destiny Shannon was on top. I asked Ferret to take a picture. He looked at his watch and told me, We're right on time. That explains it, said Mary Bat. My cell phone rang, and it was Sabrina, so naturally I left the pyramid to answer it. They fell off to the ground, and there I told her her timing was bad. It was Sabrina. Buffo, 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 said the voice on the phone. A lot can happen. Next, he retires early, said Ferret. Ferret Walk The Man in the Hat There I was at a restaurant sitting with my wily burp hat when the waitress asked me what I'd like. I told her I was expecting someone and I would just have coffee. Well, she got me coffee, then there was this little imaginary dog pretending to swim in midair. The dog used the table I was sitting at as a raft and he pulled himself up. Then he pulled a small bag from midair and set it next to him. The bag had a fishing rod and a reel. I called the waitress over and told her that the rest of my party was here and I would like to order. I asked if she served jelly beans and she said they serve anyone but they do reserve the right to deny service for no reason. Ferret turned to me and told me that I married her and pulled out wedding pictures from his bag. Her name was Alice. She owned a truck stop. I was a buffo. Then there was a tug on his line and he started reeling it in. Soon we could see there were two otters tugging on the line for the fun of it. I smiled and told Ferret that those were his kids Gwen and Kench. Ferret shook his head then scooped them up and put them in the bag. When did I have time to have a family? asked Ferret. They were born after I married Alice, I told him. Alice came over and told us this pretending thing could catch on. Don't know, yesterday Ferret and I were the same height. Anything can happen, I told her. Tomorrow he flies a big truck to Saturn, said Ferret. <laughs> 